Thanks to one now, the Broken Destiny by author Carla Labaskachne is said to be a treat for sci-fi fans. The series is part of the Broken series. Judging by the reaction of fans, it will be well received. Joining me now is Broken Destiny author Carla Labaskachne. Carla, good morning and welcome. Thank you for having me, Sam. Look, we're not going to spend any time talking about your name because we'll probably <laughs> be talking about that for, for hours. Um, for the benefit of our uh, viewers, give us a synopsis of uh, uh, the Broken Destiny. The Broken Destiny is set on a planet where the genetically enhanced humans have been exiled because of their imbalance in controlling their powers. Um, mostly it is, the first book goes about a girl who has to accept her destiny in saving... That's Ava. Yes. Saving the last of their race. Um, but it's a difficult path. She's not the perfect heroine. She makes mistakes. She falls for the wrong people. She gets betrayed. She has to do things that she doesn't want to do in order to save the people she loves. It's maybe a little bit more difficult because your, your lead protagonist is only 16 years old, so she's learning about herself. She's then thrust in, in, onto Poseidon, which is this, this earth that has been a kind of been lied about uh, the council rules um poseidon then you've got which i thought was very funny you've got the Mino the minoans and you've got the zulus which says to me that you're incorporating your south african experience into sci-fi um my books when i write is all about everything that i've that's gotten me to this path mm. and it's just a compulsion i have to write about everything that i find beautiful and i find the zulu people beautiful their culture is mm. beautiful it's a pride nation but they are also very good warriors mm. so the warrior part is i love that it's just fierce and it makes for good adventure and action How, is it easy is it difficult because you're taking what we traditionally understand as a normal day everyday construct and putting it into a world of, of, of sci-fi most South Africans um, I think if you're a sci-fi reader you'd enjoy it but most South Africans don't can't see the Zulus as this scientifically uh, sci-fi uh, warrior race for me it's easier because yeah. I can play around with it so I don't have to be too technical sure. it's all make-believe so I can take what I have and make it my own what is this love triangle that you start off between Ava, Enoch, and then eventually introduce this character, Troy, who's been floating around in the backdrop? A good love story has to form part of sci-fi or else it's, yes. it's just a technical read, isn't it? Yes. Um, like you said, it's a teenager. She's a girl. She's learning to become her own. Growing up on the, in the human colony, they are restricted to use their emotions. They are actually drugged to be emotionless because when they start um, developing their emotions their powers come out and then the council cannot um, they cannot control them so when she meets Troy in the background he brings out her emotions and mm. she starts feeling things for the first time then um, Enoch comes into the picture as her hero and she but falls... But he's got a bit of a dark past. You're not sure if he's completely good or... No, you're not sure. Yeah. And I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> okay, don't give it away. He does, though, play on her emotions and her feelings and manipulates her. Like any yeah. teenager, it happens. How do you plan for... And, um, you know, when you talk about character development and you've got to stretch a story in a novel, you've got to do all this mapping and, and, and plotting. But when you're planning for, uh, in your case, this is part of the Broken series, how do you then make sure that your characters are able to live through the, that extension of the books and that they've got to stay interesting, they've got to grow, she's 16, so I can only assume book three, she's still 16, but her maturity level increases. How do you make sure that you, you keep that pace, that momentum, that growth, that development? It just comes naturally to me. Um, as I grow in the books, mm. the character grows, vice versa. So you start off with how she is and you make sure that the reader knows what is her growth path and the reader grows with her mm. and to the Big Bang. There's a term that we've, that's been floated about, about this particular genre, dystopian. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of people will be like, oh, what's dystopian? You know, I mean, a lot of people would have not encountered it. And this book, funny enough, doesn't only appeal to sci-fi readers. 
It doesn't. I've mixed a lot of genres. Um, I've got action, adventure, romance. And then this dystopian part to me, because I'm South African, we all know what it's like to the apartheid era. We weren't allowed to read certain books. We weren't allowed to be introduced to certain things. So it's a controlled society. That's what dystopian to me is, mm -hmm. is the oppression and then breaking free from that. What are you trying to say? Because you've added so many, so many different layers to, to the sci-fi novel. Um, what are you trying to say? My message, why I wrote young adult science fiction, I want readers to relate. I want them to know that it's all about growth and who you become and that it's a journey. And you make mistakes and you falter, but you learn from them and every mistake is part of growth. It's not a mistake. Okay, well we're going to touch base with you when the others uh, drop, the other uh, books in this series. That was Broken Destiny author Carla Labuskakhni talking to us about the first book in the Broken series as it's known. It's available at all good bookstores. Let us know what you think. Morning live at